or two, and then I'll then I'll say more. If you know it, folks. Thank you, folks. Well, my name is Richard Smith, and uh, thrilled to see you here. Thanks for taking your time out, your Sunday Thanksgiving weekend. You could have done anything. You could, you could be spending your fourth day with family. <laughs> but you came to see me instead, so I'm thrilled about that. I appreciate it. Kick off with a little thumb picking. There'll be plenty of that. Let me... Uh, let me make sure I'm in. Play some Jerry Reed. Probably my favorite composer of guitar music. I'll 
do you a few reed tunes and we'll see where we go from there. There's one called Down Home. Thank you. Mr. Lucky.
Thank you. Oh, there we go. Mr. Lucky was the name of that one. Little Jerry Reed for you. <laughs> All right. I'll play one more read tune while I'm thinking about it. Maybe we'll do some more later. There's a happy tune, one of my faves. I'll go down to the, that old... Uh, I'll drop that E down to a D here. Stretch it out like a ligament. Hello. There you go. Can you feel that shaking your liver now? Is it going through you? There's a favor of mine called Strutting. It's a happy tune. Much appreciated. Jerry Reed strutting this three reed tunes one after the other. That gets me warmed up here. I'll play some Merle Travis since I'm thumb picking. And uh, I'll sing you one of Merle's as well. Let me shake it loose again. <laughs> shake the rust off. I spent four days in Vegas in my room booking gigs planning tours. I went to the Valley of Fire State Park. It was fantastic. Who has been there? Who's never been to the Valley of Fire State Park? I'm telling you. Do it. Absolutely. Valley of Fire is about an hour north of Vegas. You can Google these places. Check it out on Google Earth and all that. You'll see all the pictures. It'll make you want to go. It's like being on Mars. Anyway. Uh, Merle Travis, the daddy of thumb pickers. Finding that thumb picking tempo. Here we go. Thank you. 
All right, Mel Travis. These will settle in. Mel Travis, walking the strings. Here we go. I'll play another one of Merle's. I'll sing this one. This is one that Merle wrote. He used a whole bunch of old radio commercials from the 40s to describe his wife. All those, really, he used those commercials. It was kind of a cleverly written song. He used the, all the old commercials, all the slogans for the various products that they were advertising, and he made them into a song about his wife. There's one for sun-made raisins. They're still around. Coca-Cola, that one's in there. The old Schick Razor commercial and uh, Packard Cars. Those are all in there. Packard Cars, I guess they're defunct now. But uh, the title of the song is also one of those uh, old slogans that describes his wife. Old gold cigarettes, so round, so firm, so fully packed. So round, so firm, so fully packed. That's my gal, she's so complete from front to back. She's my pal, toasted by the sun, and I'm a son of a gun. If she don't make my five o'clock shadow come around at one, you could bet your boots I would walk a mile through the snow just to see that toothbrush smile they mention on the radio. If you don't think she's a lot of fun, just ask a man who owns one. So round, so firm, so fully packed. That's my gal. goes for drinks like the Bobby Suckers go for Frank and just like Jesse James would go for money in the bank from head to feet she's perfect size she's a whiz always wears a 45 gun that is she's got the looks that are so impressive she has a pause that's so refreshing so round so firm so fully packed my gal top pen it won't be long till she wears my brand so round so firm so fully packed that's my gal thank you well travis all right i'll tell you directions here. It's one I've been messing with lately.
Thank you. Thank you. A little uh, embraceable you. That was it. I was trying to think of it. George Gershwin. Well, we'll go back down here since we went back in time. We'll go back east and a little further south here. We'll go to South Texas. I'll play you one of my favorite melodies. This one's got some lyrics. As did, well, most of them have lyrics. Some of them are just purely instrumental. Some of them are instrumental versions of songs. This one's got lyrics, and if you know them, then please um, feel free to uh, stay quiet. It's an old cowboy tune here. Thank you, that's the Streets of Laredo there. Streets of Laredo. You may remember the Smothers Brothers version better, I don't know. All right, let me see if I can do this. We're gonna go to Paraguay. We'll stay in the same key here. Paraguayan dance music. This one's called Danza Paraguaya. It's the only reason I know there is Paraguayan dance music at all. 
written by Augustine Barrios, great guitar player that lived in Paraguay. And one of my favorite guitar composers. Let me see. Thank you. Dunza Paraguaya. All right. Right hand is warming up now. I like it. I'll play you a, uh, an old stride piano tune. I love the old stride piano players. They kind of took ragtime and added elements of the blues and other stuff that was going on. Made it a little bit more improvisational, I guess. And they made it swing. That was the big thing. Swing and eights instead of straight eights. You know, you all know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. Here's your swing and eights. You could swing it as much as... You know, you can swing it as much as you like. There's no set amount of swing. <laughs> Which is kind of cool, because different people swing it it's like, oh, that guy, I see where he is. You know, you move it around. But stride piano, they made it swing. They added these elements of the blues. This is a, an old James P. Johnson tune. It's called the Snowy Morning Blues. And it's kind of happy sounding, but it is a blues. So I, I always like to think of some, some poor old dude. This would have been written in Harlem. I'm in New York. Cold, snowy morning. Some poor old dude, you know, way past retirement age. Walking to a job he hates <laughs> across a freezing, the wind's blowing. I'm trying to make it as sad as possible, you know. So, to a job he hates. This is the snowy morning blues, folks. Imagine a Monday morning, you just don't want to go to work. Let's have a look. Snowy morning blues, James P. Johnson.
Thank you. Thank you, folks. <clears throat> the snowy morning blues. Well, we went to South Texas, we went to Harlem, we went to Paraguay. Let me see where we'll go here. Thank you. 
Thank you. Thank you, folks. A little Georgia on my mind. All right. Well, you know, I said to Len earlier, I'm wearing this mid-century modern wallpaper. I might as well go back to the 60s where it's kind of from, you know. I'll play you this one. This became my earworm for at least a year and a half. It's one of those ones that sticks, one of those melodies that sticks with you when you hear it. So, you know, you can blame me if, if it keeps you up at night. Um, it's an old movie theme, and I like a lot of uh, like a lot of music. I learned a lot of it from uh, from Chet Atkins. How many Chet fans do we have here? A whole bunch. Yeah, I knew there'd be a, a bunch of Chet fans. And um, yeah, I uh, I learned this from Chet, and he had taken I learned later on some liberties with the changes. So he went from the the six minor to the two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So he goes from the six. One, two, three, four, five, six, A minor. To the two. With the dominant seven. To the five. To the one. But the seekers who did this. Six minor to six minor over five. Now instead of this two chord, which is kind of they get the they went to the four chord with a Hear that? You get to play every string as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a difference. And I'll put it in context here. <laughs> Thank you. 
I appreciate that. Thank you, folks. Hey there, Georgie girl. All right, I'll stick with the 60s. I'll do this quick one here. I actually did a Beatles tribute the other day, a couple of weeks ago, in, uh, in Windsor, just across from Detroit, just over the border there in Canada. There's a, a painter, an artist painter called Paul Murray, who was painting all these Be Beatles pictures. And there were about three or four bands, four or five bands. I was one of the acts. And uh, everyone was playing Beatles tunes while he was painting pictures of the band and pictures of the individuals. I was playing while he was painting John Lennon. Up, he was painting John Lennon upside down and the big reveal, you know, he turns it upside down. And he also paints Ringo Starr blindfolded. That's not Ringo Starr with a blindfold on. That's him blindfolded painting Ringo Starr. You know, otherwise it could be any, you know, could be Top Hole. <laughs> Just some guy with a beard, that's not Ringo. Anybody with a beard and a blindfold. But no, he paints Ringo, he's got the blindfold on. Paul Murray is his name. I think you can see him doing that on YouTube. Anyway, so I, um, I already knew a few Beatles tunes, but I've worked this one up because I wanted this one in particular. So let me see. Thank you. How are we doing? I might as well do one more from the 60s. I think this, this tune epitomizes the 60s. <laughs> I heard if you remember it, you weren't there. I missed out on all the fun. I was born in 71, so I don't know. Was it that much fun? Was it just overrated? I don't know. Right, really? Was it the really? Are you having more fun now? Is it more fun now? Well, thanks. <laughs> was it more fun then? Or was it just you were more fun then? <laughs> it was more fun. I don't know. See, I, I'm having as much fun now than I ever, than I ever had. I don't know. <laughs> Could be. I don't know. I'm, I mean, you know, I'm in San Diego. Does it get any better? Uh, let me see. Anyway, this is this epitomizes the 60s. It's on, on loop for an hour on YouTube.
Spanish flea. Little Herb Alpert. Hey, Lynn, do you want to get up here with that cajon? Do you fancy doing one or two? Are you, are you feeling it? Or? Lynn owns this place. Leonard Patton, everybody. He owns the Jazz Lounge, which has been open for about a year. Uh, a year? Not even a year. Just a year and a half. There you go. A year and a half. He's a muso himself. He knows the plight. <laughs> and I appreciate him having me here. And we hooked up through a, a mutual friend who's up in the middle California, I guess you could call it. Up in the, He's close to the... Um, you guys are lucky. I'm telling you, you've got everything. You've got desert, you've got sea, you've got mountains, you've got trees, you've got everything. We'll see. You want to do that? Um, uh, yeah, you got Leonard. We'll see. Yeah, man. That's got the mic in it already.
Bet it Leonard Patton there, yeah. running the show. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you, Leonard Patton. Yeah, man, running the show. Support the uh, the Jazz Lounge. It's your local place. It's your local place to hear stuff like this. I'm going to try and book a um, a date for myself, your show, Stefan, and Rory Hoffman for May. We'll be back. We're playing in California in May, so we're going to try and make that happen. Check out the calendar. Thanks, Lynn. I know what I haven't done yet. You know, I'll play you. Let me do this one. Get some ice cream for you. Cream van is coming.
Thank you. Thank you so much, folks. I, I appreciate it. Well, you know what? I've got time for about one more, I think. One or two more. We'll see. We mix it up. All right. Yeah. I think I know what I'll do.
thank you. Polka dots and moonbeams, all around a pug nose dream. I appreciate it, folks. You know, I'll end with something totally different. And I appreciate you all being here tonight. Thanks so much for coming out. I've had a good time. Check out the calendar here at the Jazz Lounge. Thejazzlounge.com. Dot live. Thejazzlounge.live. Yeah, man. Yeah, check out who's coming up. Who, who you got coming up? All right, I won't do any Christmas yet. It's the 27th. We'll wait till December 1st at least.
Thank you, folks. I'll see you next time. Thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. I do have CDs over in the corner there. Check out my website, richardsmithmusic.com. Thanks again, Leonard Patton. Thanks you all for coming One out. One more time, give it up for Richard Smith. And be on the lookout. We're, we're, we're looking at the beginning of May for his trio. So um, um, some of you are probably are on, uh, already on his uh, mailing list, but you can also get on the mailing list of uh, the Jazz Lounge, the, the Jazz Lounge.live. We've got a lot of great concerts coming up. So God bless you all. Be safe. Yeah.